So I'm on Facebook and I see an advert for what seems to be some mouldy toast wrapped in cling film. And I'm like, hmm, that's strange. Scroll across a bit. Then there's this man in a black and white photo. Am I buying the photo? Am I buying the outfit? I don't know what's going on. So I decide I'm going to, you know, waste some of my time and check out what wish actually is so i go onto the website and you've got a login and i logged in with facebook and if they think i'm putting my credit card details anywhere near facebook can steal them they're fucking idiots anyways so i'm having a look at you know all this random stuff that they've got available and the first thing that you know catches my eye is a bulletproof vest it's described as a US Army military tactical vest, anti-stab, hard self-defense, clothing, bulletproof security equipment, blah, 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 blah. The bulletproof vest gets even better because one of the reviews says it feels soft, like a knife or bullet could go through it, but it does look very good. I'm oh, sorry, it does look very good. And then the description is like, no, dummy armor plates cannot withstand a real bullet. So what you've bought is not a bulletproof vest for nine pounds, which I guess makes sense. But you've brought the vest, but none of the bulletproof element to it. So that's a bit odd. Then you've got glow in the dark tape, which if you've got a nightclub, you know, maybe that's a good idea. But I can't see why I would need that. But you know, not every product is for every person. Speaking of the cigarette case slash lighter, so presumably this is a plastic box bigger than a pack of cigarettes that you put in your pocket to carry a pack of cigarettes and then you can it's like oh it's windproof so it's like a car lighter on the side of a thing you put in your pocket all right yeah maybe that's just you know what some people are looking for then you move on you go down the rabbit hole a bit and you find the rechargeable personal fan device that's hands free. So it's a pair of small fans that you wear around your neck and they blow cool air into your face. Now I'm not an engineer, but I imagine that's going to be quite loud and also look shit. But I thought I'll have a look, see what this, you know, what the reviews say. After all, it's only a pound. Stephen with a PH about a month ago, he says he bought one, brought another three, and he's gonna buy more. Great little gadget, superb, no full stop. Then there's the uh, other one, I've just ordered one, a second one, it runs great. No full stop there either. And then my favourite is, love it, can't wait till summer to use it, from Roger. So, have you just been sitting there cold? What's going on, Roger? What are you doing with your life? We move on to a classy item. I say that in the loosest possible sense, because looking at it, it looks like Dominic Toretto would think that's a bit trashy. Anyway, it's a crystal cross pendant, silver, gold, black, stainless steel zirconia, Jesus cross pendant necklace jewellery. You'll notice how it says pendant twice in that description. Anyway, it's not for me. It's not what I would like, but maybe other people would like it. Let's have a look at what some of the little reviews say. David says, perfect size and good quality. Oh, that's good. Jeremy says, just what I, lowercase i, thought it was. Thanks. What about that description is possibly like, oh, I wonder what this is. Fucking hell. Anyway, and then Lee, you know, about six days ago, looks good with the chain. Does it look shit on its own? What are you going to use the cross for without the necklace part? Just for a throwing star? Then you go to a dark corner of wish.com. There's a ton of these products, but I've just picked the funniest ones. Uh, have a look at this picture. It's powerful increase thickening essential oils. And you're thinking, what's that about? Is it your hair or something like that? No, no. 
it's about getting your penis big. Let's just have a look at the description. It's quite in depth. Using time. Wipe once every morning after getting up. Wipe once before going to bed at night. Wipe twice a day. I worked that out. And instructions for use. Uh, cleans the dick. Dick is capital, like the name. And dries them with a towel. Smears five to ten drops on the dick. Again, capital. Gently massage until absorption. Then, no capital letter here at the start of the sentence, which is odd. Do not use if there is a scratch, rash, or allergy. Um, and yeah, so it's P.S. I want to get as many penis enlargement oils out to as many men as I can. I have made it my mission in life to spread happiness and joy through male enlargement. Trust me, if you follow my guide, you are going to be, uh, be smiling ear to ear less than three months from now. Imagine it, just two months, just with the capital. From now, there's a, there's a lot of capital letters here. You can have a longer, fuller penis and the big man confidence to back it up. I don't know who's selling this, but why is this the thing you've made your mission in life? It's just mental. You've got the penis sex capsules, basically the same as the oil, but I just like the name. It's quite funny. Uh, and then the um, company is Joy Division. Now, am I right in thinking that is also a band? So is this a sponsored product? The Penis XL tablets. Now, there's not much to say about these that I haven't already said about the previous ones. But I decided to include this here just because of the little review from Ricky about two years ago. Just got them. Hope, no capital letter, they are as good as they read. LOL. Now why the flip would you do a review before you've even tried the product out? What's wrong with you, Ricky? You dumbass. Then when you come to the end of this section, one of the recommended products, I kid you not, is Vanish. The stain cleaning thing. What, why, why is that needed there? And finally, on this little journey through madness, is the ashtray lighter in the shape of a dragon. Now, it says here, high quality, creative, metal lighter ashtray, collection ornaments, men's gift, gift package. And I thought for a pound, you know, you can't possibly go wrong. It's Father's Day coming up. So I thought I'll have a look at some of the reviews. Becky, about 26 days ago, I thought it was all metal, but the dragon lighter was plastic. The ashtray is metal, but all in all, I love it. And it's just for display and light the old candle, as I'm not a smoker and I'm not really bothered. I love it. No punctuation there. Um, Leanne, just what I was hoping for, and it works great. He loves it. No punctuation there either. Who is he? Strange that a lot of these had the same odd spelling mistakes, like they were all written by the same person, even though they've got different names on it. Strange. Uh, then you've got Ashmo, about two months ago. It came early and is awesome. Now, I don't want to judge people. I'm not going to say this looks like a tacky piece of shit. But, you know, if you like it, good for you.